staying mentally tough yeah. throughout the entire game. How was your team able to do that here tonight? That's it. It, it really, if we can boil it down to one thing for this group is leaning into being grittier. Uh, so we talked about at halftime, showed a clip of us uh, not having hands on people. And so we have to have intention, intention to play extremely hard with effort and energy. And we played for one another tonight, 30-plus uh, assists, uh, the ability to scrap and really cover for each other on the defensive end of the floor with a bigger team, and uh, just the, the intent behind it to uh, get problems solved together. So. Hopefully our guys see the recipe. Uh, we talked about trending in that direction and having some halves and some quarters and not full games yet, but uh, we're getting there. What was special in that third quarter that allowed you guys to go off? I think you got scored with 38 to 22. Yeah, I think just overall juice. Uh, it, the ability for our guys to make shots. I have 19 threes for us tonight, so that, that's always uh, a mental uplift when you see the ball go in. But uh, we were determined to play with some pace tonight, which we have to as a group, and, uh, and just scrap, really. And it didn't, doesn't have to be pretty for this group, but uh, just figure it out. Cam Thomas said a shoot around. He gave us a warning that he was ready to play here tonight. How contagious did he kind of make it for the entire group the way that he came off his bench? Well, he saved us in that first half for sure. His ability just to uh, get us open looks. You know, they got to a point where they start trapping him, and then we, we got some looks out of that. But uh, I, I just thought he did a lot of good things tonight, whether it was once he got the attention on him. Uh, I think I had looked, and he had four assists. And uh, his ability just to, to make the right play, uh, he's just growing. That the clip that you showed. I mean, I'm sorry. I just want to make it clear. Was this something that you guys showed in shoot around or after or pregame, or was it something you showed no, at halftime this, this from a, the first half? Yes, from the from the first half. So this was a halftime clip. Uh, sometimes we'll watch, you know, some clips from halftime, make some adjustments. Uh, we talked about how we wanted to play the post in the second half, and then there was a one pick and roll clip where. Uh, basically, I paused it, and all five guys wasn't touching the purple jersey. And so that can't be how we play. We have to touch somebody and be okay with it. And our guys responded by doing that in the second half. Jack, in that third quarter, I guess defensively, I guess going back to that point, you, you've wanted your guys to be more active. You guys wanted to put hands on guys. What was it about that quarter where I guess it wasn't just like, I guess it was similar to Wednesdays, but what was different about it? It seemed like there was more, more energy, like you said, I guess. Yeah, you know, it, it really is some, some psyche uh, behind it. I just think, you know, these dudes are human, and when you see the ball go in offensively, it gives you an extra boost to pull for your teammate or to make an extra um, uh, effort. You saw us tonight. We were scrambling all over the place, and uh, that's with the post-ups. That was out of pick and roll also. That's us fixing things and covering for each other. Um, when the ball goes in, that's, that's helpful. Now the next layer, when the ball doesn't go in, so that's our challenge, that's the grit, that's the determination, that's the, the mental toughness to somehow figure it out and move on to the next possession. Um, but it was helpful that ball to go in.